Dr. Bunsen Honeydew here at Muppet Labs, where the future is being made today. Well, we've had a major breakthrough here at the laboratory. Beaker, come on in here and let's show the Muppet Labs brand new magnetic carrots. Come on, Beaker. Just pick up the lid there. It's all right. Isn't that snazzy? Now, these carrots are perfectly ordinary in every way except that they are magnetic. <laughs> Yes, friends, you can carry these new magnetic carrots home on the roof of your car and store them on the ceiling of your refrigerator. Oh, of course, to be perfectly honest, there is one slight drawback. Sometimes the magnetic carrots tend to attract steel uh, rabbits. Huh? Tune in next time for news of our research into the feasibility of cast iron watchdogs. Dr. Bunsen Honeydew here with news to set you a quiver. Beaker, Beaker, dear lad, come over here. Oh, Beaker, you forgot the Beaker. Now, get the Beaker, Beaker. Come on. You are about to see the first sample ever isolated of the new element, Bunsonium, contained in this self-same Beaker here. So far, we have found no use for Bunsonium. We already know that it does not remove paint, it isn't a good glue, and when used as a shampoo, it produces unusual side effects. Right, Beaker? So today, we begin an experiment to see what Bunsonium does when taken internally. My assistant, Beaker, here will now drink the Bunsonium. Oh, that's all right. There, there, Beaker. Just take a teensy little sip at first, and remember not to get carried away and gulp the whole thing. Go ahead. It's all right. Go on. Good. And now, in just a few moments, we shall know exactly what Bunsonium does. <laughs> So that's what Bunsonium does. Come, Beaker. Let's go find a bicycle pump and pump you back up. Oh, what a day this has been. If this keeps up, I'm going to wind up talking to myself. Whew. My, my, my. Another scientific breakthrough from Muppet Labs. Uh, uh, Bun Bunsen, honeydew, what do you mean by sneaking up on me like that? Well, our latest development is the nuclear-powered shaver. The honor of shaving for the very first time with a nuclear-powered shaver goes to my faithful lab assistant, Beaker. Come on in here, Beaker. It's all right. Come on. There you go. Uh, now, in order to protect Beaker's fluffy orange hair from nuclear fallout, he will wear this protective helmet, which is uh, made of solid lead. Bend over, Beaker, here. Come on. Hurry up. Bend over. Uh, there. Ah. All right. Up you go, Beaker. Now Beaker is ready for the demonstration. <laughs> well, notice how effective the lead helmet is. Now Beaker doesn't need a shave. <laughs> well, we are just feverishly excited here at the labs today because our latest invention is ready for testing. Here it is, Muppet Labs' new hair-growing tonic. And who better to test it on than my willing and eager lab assistant, Beaker? Come on in here, Beaker. Now you would like to, you would just love to test this new hair growing tonic, wouldn't you, Beaker? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, I knew he would. Okay, just sit down in this stool here. Come on. There you go. We'll shake a little bit of this on here. Put it down. And massage it in vigorously. Well, yes, now, in just a matter of seconds, you can grow a rich, luxurious head of hair. Go from a baldy to a shaggy in the mere tick of a clock. There. Now, watch closely. Here is the result of using Muppet's hair-growing tonic. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we should call it hair-raising tonic. Well, that was supposed to be a nice, quiet number. <laughs> Baker! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Beaker, what is it with you guys from the lab? Where's Bunsen and now you? Here's my 
assistant beaker to demonstrate the Muppets' all-new automatic waste basket. Yes, audience, this should end your trash disposal problems forever. Whatever the refuse, this little doozy can handle it. Show them, Beaker, my lad. Let's see another example, Beaker. Just imagine never having to empty a wastebasket again. Order your wastebasket today. It comes in both regular or housebroken models. Uh, do try to keep him quiet, Beaker. Please. Send us, just send us $22.95 and we'll send you a Muppet Waste Basket. Uh, or uh, send us $32.95 and we won't. Peter O'Toole, Inc. Here it is, the all-new Muppets Electric Nose Warmer. Yes, how many times have you been outdoors on a cold, nippy day and gotten your nose cold? Wouldn't it be nice, you thought to yourself, if I could warm it electrically? Well, now you can, as my assistant Beaker will now demonstrate. Come on in here, Beaker. We're just going to slip... Come on over here. We're just going to slip this on your nose, all right? There you go. All the way up. There. And now, with the nose warmer in place, we have only to turn on the electricity... There's Beaker with a nice, toasty, warm nose. You really should stop smoking, Beaker. It's very bad for your health. I am just bubbly with excitement. We have just been testing our new Muppet Labs teleporter, and it works perfectly. You see, a teleporter is a device which instantly transports people from one place to another. So that's what's been happening around here. You have been zapping people in and out of my theater. Please, Mr. Kermit, I'm in the very midst of an important demonstration. Oh, yeah? Well, listen, I'm in the midst of a nervous breakdown. You cannot go zapping people around. As I was saying, our new teleporter works perfectly. A few minutes ago, I sent my assistant Beaker hurtling through space to the deepest jungles of Africa. And now we will bring him back. <laughs> Beaker, Beaker, put that gorilla back. Look, you don't know where he's been. <clears throat> there, back to Africa they go. And now, just Beaker will return. That's all today from Muppet Lad. You bet that's all.